G'day guys, Miss City here for Smith City Produce. Haven't done one of these in a, a long time. Uh, just a normal stock standard beer review. I'm in Northern Territory in Catherine at the moment. I've just finished with a beer reel. I might as well just do a standalone for YouTube. Not too sure when my next one will be. Not too sure when I'll upload this. Batch 37, Alice Springs Brewing Company. I don't mind the can. I, I really like the, uh, the logo there. Yeah, really, really good, 5.4%. Uh, the head, pricks are quite small. But they're not tight, so it'll be interesting to see it dissipate. It's heavily carbonated, as you can see there. We've got a noise restriction at nine. Any late parties, cops will be called. You'll be escorted off the premises. That'd make a good in uh, interview. Good interview. Good review. I had a. Uh, food down at Gino's Pastor and Go before and um, the can says don't consume after you blow with pasta and here I am just breaking the rules left right and centre sort of like a, a mid palate there's melon and grapefruit there's sort of a bit of a citrus component to it as well but it's very piney and peppery and it would be very interesting to see what sort of um, things they put in the brew obviously being Alice Springs uh, you, you, you dare say that they've probably got some sort of Um, native things put into the brew to make it peppery um, there is a non-alcoholic beer um, is it called Soba? I think S-O-B-A-H it's got Aboriginal art over the front of it and I think that's what I think that's what that was this is what that one was trying to be minus the alcohol and you got a little sort of that I don't know. The back end of that non-alcoholic beer was very uh, no, I, I I don't know what word to use. It was very pungent, but not in like the taste was pungent, but not in a good way, and it left a really bad aftertaste. Whereas I think with the alcohol, this is what that beer was supposed to taste like because that also had very pepper peppery and piney elements just the back end of that was because it had no alcohol in it it sort of tasted a bit i wouldn't say chemically but it had a bit of a, a weird sort of um unpleasant aftertaste My rig's not looking too bad for someone who hasn't been in the gym for a, for a couple of months. Just notice my my arms there. St stomach's not looking that crash hot though. <laughs> what would I rate it? Drinkability, I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's one you can drink a lot of so I'd probably probably rate the drinkability maybe a, even as low as below seven maybe like 6.8 6.9 but in terms of one or two and the enjoyment within that one and two also got to understand that I had a wine with dinner 
and had a lot of dinner. Um, that I, that I think this rate's high. I think it rate's high. Just it's not something that you can. I don't right now personally. I don't think I can finish the other two cans. Citrus up front, melon grapefruit in the middle, and then you've got that piney pepperiness on the back end. I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10. That's it for me. So we're going to do, uh, head to Kununurra, and then broom.